Hello pretties, welcome to my store. So today I have my Partners in Cream Project pan. This was created by Steph Lyons and Dalin um, or at Word Processing here on YouTube. I'm gonna leave them down below. Please don't forget to look at the spreadsheet so you can see everybody else is participating and also the hashtag Partners in Cream 2021 so you can see everybody else is participating. And yeah, please don't forget to like and subscribe so you become a resident of Israel and let's get started. So I have another Don't Excited Project update. Um, that one's on me. <laughs> I didn't even finish the gimme product, <laughs> if that tells you anything. But so let's start with the gimme product since I already mentioned it. So it was this mini of the setting spray. I was around right here. I think I'm somewhere down here. Um, this is honestly two uses, like from here to the end. But I hate this product. I thought I had found a way to make it work, but it's honestly so thick and so sticky that it still like leaves little dots on my face and I'm not here for it. I'm not here for it. I don't like it. I don't, I don't like this in a spray. So I honestly use this when I know I'm not going to go out, like right before I'm going to film and then I'm going to wash off my makeup and my makeup always looks like shit afterwards. And it leaves my face all sticky. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. So this, ugh, two more uses. I know I can get it done by the next one if I just try, but I don't want to. Another really disappointing, I thought I used a lot of this this last month, but I guess not. By the way, keep in mind that I am filming this video a little earlier than usual. Um, today's the 7th and I usually don't film till like the 9th or the 10th so you know that's two, two uses left like potentially I could have finished this by the next update you know um, but anyway the milk makeup I'm like disappointed in that blush let me find my little markings where is it at? there you go do you guys see that it's like almost nothing but I feel like I see a pattern it's like I do really well for like one month and then I don't do so well for another one and then the next month I do sort of well and then not so well so I mean there's a slight part in it, pattern to it there it is it was almost nothing for this fourth update but I'm still tucking along it's not necessarily my favorite formula it's, it is a little too sticky for my liking but it's it's chucking along we're going <laughs> alongside it um one that you won't be able to tell is my little um sugar shock powder from Colourpop I actually have been using this I've reached for it a few times it's surprisingly opaque for a glitter um can't quite tell there but do you see it's actually quite opaque um so it, it will overpower a look if i put it on it uh, but again i have used it it's a really easy shade to like throw on top um but because such little goes a long way i end up putting it all over my eyes and i'm not always gonna look for this also i prefer matte shadows over like um what's it called i prefer mattes over shimmers so i'm not always in the in the lookout for something like this but i have been using it again you won't be able to tell it is quite thin so i feel like if i use it somewhat consistently i should be able to hit the out like the the rings in the middle pretty soon because there's not there's not a product i'd rather product there in there you can see it's quite domed um it's still super creamy so even though it's hella old <laughs> So I can't wait to use this. <laughs> Alright, and then for my two foundations, to be honest, I did choose to take a small break from them. I've been working on this little uh, tinted moisturizer sample that I have. It's about yay big. I'm almost done with that one. And actually, I only used a handful of times, but there's so little in it and it's really not that pigmented that I've just kind of run right through it. Um, I'm expecting to do my next empty, so FYI. And I've only used it consistently for the next, like, one for the last two weeks or so, like twice a week or so and I'm just running through it. But I really, really needed a break, so I was getting kind of tired. But I do have some good markings. Not on this one, it was a small marking right here. It's really hard to tell um, with this one, but I think I just made the slightest of changes right there. This one, for whatever reason, did jump down. It makes me believe that I probably had it, uh, it hadn't settled last time I did it. But I'm, I'm wondering if you can kind of tell it's a little bit darker right there. But yeah, there's the settling mark right there. So this one has made some good progress. I am, feel like these are both gonna be here to like the very end of the year we'll see i do want to repurchase this this uh what's it called um this foundation i actually like both foundations they're actually pretty lightweight but together they feel a little thicker than they normally would and i have to mix them because neither of them are the right shades this one's too pink this one's too yellow so i have to mix them both but anyway i want to buy this one in adw because i think that's gonna be the right shade for me but that's it. Not an exciting update. What's new? <laughs> but I'll see you in the next one, okay? Bye, guys.